channel. My name is Chrissy and you are watching Chrissy's Craft Room. Today I'm going to do a how-to video and show you how I apply vinyl design to a glass beer mug. The beer mugs we're going to be using today are these oversized glasses that I actually get at the Dollar Tree. So if this is something that you've been wanting to do or you're excited to watch me show you how to do, then please keep on watching. So the design we're working with today is actually one of my most favorite TV shows today that I have watched and it is Game of Thrones. We're making a pair of two wine glasses. One's going to be Caldrogo and the other one is going to be the mother of dragons herself. Daenerys Targaryen or Khaleesi's. So on one glass, I'm going to put Khal Drogo and I'm going to put under him Moon of My Life. And then I'm going to put Khaleesi and my sun and stars on the other glass. The pair is super cute. Um, it's an item that a lot of people purchase on my Etsy I shop. I'll include a link in my description to my Etsy shop so you can go and see what we have available. And if you see something you like, then you can go ahead and purchase it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera down so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. All right guys, so here we go. I have my glasses ready to go and already cleaned with alcohol. I have my vinyl design already cut out. So let's go ahead and apply our design. All right guys, so I went ahead and switched over to a different type of audio because I had a lot of background noise and I wanted to make sure that this video was nice and clear for those of you who are watching. So what I'm doing now is I'm preparing to apply my vinyl design on the beer glass. I am removing the transfer sheet. Um, and checking out the glass and making sure that where I lay it down is in a good position. So I'm just, you know, you want to make sure that you put your design right in the middle. It's not crooked or anything. And then you're going to go ahead and lay it down when you're ready to. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that you guys have a good angle. And I hope that you guys can see what I'm doing and that it's easy for you to follow along. So after you find the position, you want to slowly stretch your vinyl over the glass and make sure that there aren't any wrinkles or any air bubbles, it's not crooked. And once you get it laid down, I like to run my finger all around the vinyl design, make sure that it's nice and warmed up because when you warm up your vinyl, um, it's it adheres nicely and you know, it's better that way. <laughs> Once you get it on, you're going to peel your transfer sheet up, but you want to make sure that you peel it in a nice, slow, downward motion. You don't want to just pull it up because that can create micro bubbles, and you don't want that because it's going to ruin your design, and you're going to have to start all over again. And we don't like that. We don't like to waste vinyl. So you want to take your time. And once you have the first um, part of your design on, I'm moving on to the second part, which is the quotes. Um, I'm going to apply my transfer sheet on top of the design, make sure that it's on really well, and then go ahead and transfer it up onto the, onto the glass. I'm going to move the camera down a little bit more so you guys can see. And it's a little bit weird, my little setup here, but hopefully in future videos, I'll have a better setup for you guys. Um, and I hope that it's easy for you to follow along with the video like this. So if, if you're having any issues following along, then let me know. Um, and I'll be sure to try and fix that for you guys in the next video. I got my vinyl design up now and I'm going to basically do what I did with the first part is make sure that it's lined up nice and straight and even with the first part of my design and then I will lay it down and smooth it out. Yeah, so I moved the camera once again because I'm still trying to find the right angle. And once again, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing clearly. I'm just trying to align it with 
the uh, picture of Khal Drogo on there and I got it where I want it so I'm just smoothing it out and warming it up like I said before so that the adhesive can stick on, stick on really well and then you remove your transfer sheet in a downward angle like I said before and there you go you have your design now that we finished the Khal Drogo design I'm going to go and get started with the other beer mug and put my Khaleesi design on there with the quote also so I'm just putting the transfer sheet on there again making sure it's nice and smooth with my Cricut scraper and yeah I'm gonna lay it down on the glass for you now I'm laying the glass down now which actually is a little bit better because I think you guys can see better so what I'm doing is I'm just laying it down again making sure it's exactly where I want it to be it's in the middle of the beer glass smoothing it down warming it up and then I'm gonna remove the transfer sheet again nice and slowly so that none of the pieces lift or create any bubbles This is a super easy way to um, apply vinyl to any glass. You can use beer mugs, you can use wine glasses, or any other type of drinkware that you like to use. For this one, I like to do the big beer mugs because I think it just went great with the Game of Thrones theme. And yeah, it's a big hit. So you can make these glasses for yourself or for anyone that you know is a fan of Game of Thrones. It's, I think, a great gift to give to anyone who loves the show. And I do have these available in my Etsy shop also. So if you wanna go ahead and take a look at my Etsy shop and see what I have available, then I'm definitely going to link my shop in the description down below and you guys can go and check that out. I'd really appreciate it. So now I'm laying down the quilt design on there. I'm trying to make sure that I have it nice and straight on the glass. And yep, I got it on. Can smooth it out again. And that's pretty much it for the two designs. It doesn't take very long to do, so I hope you guys find this video helpful. And there you have it, guys. There are the two glasses, Cal Drogo and the mother of dragons herself. I think this is an awesome set. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Please subscribe to my video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that notification bell to be notified every time I create a new video. Thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and leave any comments down below if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see next. Thanks for watching Chrissy's Craft Room. I love you all. Mwah.